This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's go back to, to the discussion of the um, gold market. Well guys, uh, there are something interesting. In the fundamental part of the research, uh, the particular speaking, uh, currently if you will take a look at the signs that different markets uh, give us, I speak about the US Treasury bonds, the yield of the US Treasuries, uh, Australian dollar, um, the situation on the other precious metals, palladium, platinum, silver, you will see some mismatch between the signs that we see on the different markets and the analysis speech that we now see on the TV and hear and read in newspapers concerning the possible downward depreciation, the possible downward continuation. So uh, currently there are a lot of thoughts around an analysis, uh, analysis uh, speech about uh, that gold is losing its uh, attractiveness, it's losing its quality of some something uh, absolute absolute asset or something of that sort that times now are changing and uh, the people revalue the some foundations of the former financial world and so on. Anything change, anything flow. flow. But when I see some such, such sort of speeches when uh, a lot of news and uh, analysis opinions that point on the further downward gold depreciation right to the uh, 1000 even to the 800 uh, or even lower and so on and on the opposite side I see that the yield of these treasuries is rising the Australian dollar has shown the Russian rings and doesn't hasn't shown any breakout to the downside I see the appreciation in the palladium platinum and then the silver and something makes me worry about the. Uh, it looks just suspicious that in such different opinions and uh, different signs mismatch between uh, things that analysis tell and things that markets show. And this is very often happens when the market up approaches uh, to some significant point. And I think that in the longer term perspective, we stand somewhere very close to the to the bottom on the gold market. Currently it's very difficult to say whether the possible bounce to the upside will be the reversal to the upside in continuation of the long-term trend or it will be just retracement. The logically it suggests that it will be retracement because market was significantly oversold and market has shown the monthly volatility breakout. Usually this pattern leads to some continuation. It usually has two leg shape. But anyway, if it will be just the bounce, significant bounce to the upside, this will be not small move because it will take take place on the monthly time frame chart. I don't want to say that market should reverse right from 1180 area. Maybe it will continue move slightly lower, but I suppose that this potential reversal uh, will happen somewhere in the area of three eight months. So I think that this should happen and could happen. Uh, because when everybody sure that gold market will continue its move to the downside, usually in such moments the markets change the direction. At least we should be extra careful to the current situation, especially on the monthly time frame chart, on the weekly time frame chart, because on the weekly time frame chart we see the butterfly, the, uh, the butterfly buy that is forming here. Well, uh, and we should see what will happen when this butterfly will be formed and will be complete. That is what about the longer term perspective. In the shorter term perspective, mar you see that market still uh, hold, holds above the major target that stands around 1180. It's previous lows, this ABCD pattern that we have discussed on the daily time frame chart. And take a look what the, sh what the action market has shown on the previous week. Very gradual and lazy action. S slow move, small candles. This is definitely the sign of the retracement. Maybe this respect on the former weekly pivot support one and the 127 target of this butterfly maybe some other reason 
But anyway, maybe this is the close position before the holidays, before the Christmas. But anyway, market doesn't show any sign of upward impulse. This is not the thrust. This is just retracement. And take a look at that. All this retracement stands inside the range of this most recent black candle. Also, we see here the comp completion of the gold's habit. So we know that gold likes to retest broken former broken lows, former blow broken consolidations. Market has broken it down, return right back up, retest this, this consolidation. That's what the gold likes to do very often. So as this move down as well was really significant, it points on the possible downward continuation right to 161A target. Another pattern that we could get here is the possible free drive buy. Because if you take a look at the extension of that swing, of the butterfly swing, you'll see that here we have the 1618 extension. Now if you'll take a look at the extension of that retracement, most recent, and if we suggest that market will turn to the downside here, you'll see that 127 extension stands in the same area. So this combination of different extensions from different retracements very typical for the free drive pattern. Also we see the signs of the its housing. That's the type of the free drive that I would like to see. We see the shape of the wedge pattern and we see that this wedge is accompanied by bullish divergence. This is important and significant. That's why uh, this is some sort of the free drive that is worth of our attention and probably we could rely on it because it has all signs, all features that should be with the good looking free drive pattern. Also, uh, we suspect the possible wash and rinse of 1180s area by some reasons that we have discussed on the previous week. And this appearing of the free drive here is very uh, suitable and it agrees with the, our thoughts of the possible, possible wash and rinse and then retracement up. Because free drive is a reversal pattern. It suggests the taking out of these lows, hidden 1175 area, and turn to that to the upside. Well, uh, the crucial point for the short-term setup is probably the weekly pivot point, uh, weekly pivot resistance one. So if we take a look at the forward time frame chart, you'll see that here we have first of all resistance, fib resistance and agreement. Because take a look, A, B, C, bottom, 100% extension, shallow retracement, 127. So market has hit resistance, simultaneously has retested this consolidation that we have discussed. And take a look, on the next week here we will get weekly pivot resistance one. So if market will return right back and pass through this level, this will be the warning sign for the bearish continuation. Because it's logical to see deep retracement when the market has hit the target, but it's not logical to see the deep retracement when market hasn't yet hit it. We know that market hasn't yet hit the 1180 area. That's why it should not show true extended retracement prior to the hitting of this target. And this level currently is most logical and very suitable for uh, re-establishing of the downward action right to the 1180 area. Because this is really significant. Take a look. Natural support resistance line, weekly pivot resistance, FIB resistance and agreement. So a rather significant resistance cluster. And I prefer to see that uh, downward action will re-establish right from this area. On the hourly time frame chart, we see also that smaller butterfly has appeared, has been formed here, right at this resistance. The market start move to the downside. A bit later, market could shift probably to the smaller head and shoulders pattern or something of that sort. Also, it's accomplished by hourly divergence as well. So uh, currently, I do not see any um, signs that our former trading plan that suggests the taking out of the 1180 area has been broken. So market now behaves. Uh, very logical and we could say even as, as it has to behave in the current situation. So let's see what will happen till the, till the end of the year and I suggest that probably we should see the washing rinse of this significant low uh, within the couple of days.